Well, plenty of warm weather around today. The forecast coming up for Christmas uh, keeps looking a little warmer and warmer each time we look at it. So I think someone must have been naughty this time. And uh, Santa's, uh, Santa's not bringing as much cold weather for Christmas Day coming up. But that's, let's get to the maps here and see what we have. Another warm and humid day on Friday. Probably going to be about as warm or maybe slightly warmer than today. It's going to be almost a copy of today's weather, it looks like, across the area. And we do have maybe the best chance of showers coming up late Friday night, early Saturday, from, say, about 11 p.m. or midnight Friday night through about noon on Saturday. There could be some showers moving through along and behind a somewhat weak cold front, but that brings some cooler weather in time for the weekend. And we'll just say cooler compared to right now by Christmas. It's looking not so chilly anymore, but at least the humidity's down and temperatures probably and maybe in the 60s or lower 70s or so for highs. Currently, it's very warm. 90 in Rio Grande City, 82 in Brownsville, 81 in Raymondville, and 80 in Weslaco. Now, we do have some winds along the coast, and especially in Cameron and Wilsey County. It's getting a little breezy. The gusts right now up around 30 to 35 miles per hour uh, from Raymondville through Port Isabel and Brownsville, including Harlingen. But there's less wind in the Upper Valley. But all that wind bringing up more and more humidity, and with a light breeze around all night, we could keep temperatures very warm throughout the night. So the evening planner temperatures in the 70s at 7 p.m. after sunset and may only drop into about the low 70s late this evening with mostly cloudy skies and may have trouble even getting below 70 in some areas tonight because uh, there's just too much humidity and maybe a, a light breeze continues across parts of the valley. Not too many clouds on the satellite. We had some clouds in some spots early this morning, but it's been generally a bright day out there. And I think we may wake up to some clouds early tomorrow morning, but I think overall Friday can, could be another partly to mostly sunny afternoon like today and just as warm again. Now, future track does show uh, dry weather tonight. You see partly cloudy skies at 9 p.m. and then clouds could fill in more late tonight as the humidity really increases. So Friday you may wake up to some clouds in parts of the valley, but I think more of a partly sunny afternoon. Temperatures back up mainly in the 80s tomorrow afternoon with those light breezes from the southeast again developing. Notice Saturday, as we get toward late Friday night, you might be able to see a little blue or a little shadow thing on the top left corner of the screen. The cold fronts moving into South Texas Friday evening, so you might see one or two little sprinkles or showers by about 11 p.m. Friday or so. But late tomorrow night after midnight, you see a cold front comes through by around 6 a.m. Saturday, and there could be some light rain showers along that. We're not looking for big, big rain, but maybe some areas could, could get up to about a quarter of an inch or a little more in spots. Slim, slim chances of maybe a brief weak thunderstorm along the coast as the front passes, but we're not looking for anything big or severe. And notice by Saturday around noon, everything is clearing out. We're kind of in a partly to mostly cloudy day on Saturday. And temperatures should be back down at least around 65 to 70 for afternoon temperatures on Saturday. And then Sunday for Christmas Eve, uh, kind of in and out of maybe a few clouds, but it does look fairly warm again. I mean, you know, temperatures back up, not warm, warm, but up around 70 or so by afternoon, not chilly. For Christmas Eve. It will be a little cool in the morning, though. The morning hours will be cool this weekend as the humidity drops. 10% chance for some rain late Friday evening after about 11 p.m. Then 40% chances for showers during the morning hours from about midnight to noon on Saturday. If you're traveling Friday and Saturday, headed out of town to start the Christmas weekend, 70s on Friday behind a cold front, a little cooler in Laredo on Saturday. Same thing in Corpus Christi, warm on Friday, but a little cooler on Saturday. San Antonio, small chance for a couple showers or a thunderstorm on Friday, but then cooler and less humid by Saturday. Even in Houston, there could be a brief round of showers or a storm with that front on Friday, but by Saturday, it's back to partly sunny and quiet weather out there. So the first one five seven day forecast, high temperatures back up around 85 tomorrow. Very warm and muggy day. Uh, cooler on Saturday and Sunday. Highs should be in the 60s and maybe lower 70s. Depends on how much sun's able to break through. Some of the models keep it kind of cloudy on Saturday, which may keep temperatures down a bit more, but lows in the 50s, maybe a few spots in the upper 40s on Sunday. And as I mentioned, Christmas Day keeps looking warmer and warmer. It looks like no big blast of cold air anymore coming, kind of getting steered around us. So highs maybe in the upper 60s on Christmas Day with sunshine and a cool morning, maybe in the upper 40s. But then it does warm up again later next week with slim, slim chances for a sprinkle or shower. We'll keep tracking the holiday weekend weather, though, in your first 1-5 forecast here in a few minutes. Carrie?